In this video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on my last video. So if you haven't seen that video, don't worry, don't worry. I have your back. I'll leave it at the end of this video for you to have a look at. Now, in that video, I spoke about the presumption of innocence. And I'm pleased to say that persons uh, gave me some feedback regarding how insightful the content was and how they are going to be so mindful as to how they comment on social media when they see persons charged or an allegation is made against a person. I'm hoping that with that video continuing to circulate, there's going to be a reduction of the virtual witch hunt that I think is happening so often these days, people. We need to be so mindful as to how we comment on these posts circulating on social media. Now, I practice in various courts, High Court, Magistrates Court, I've been to the Court of Appeal as well. Now, at the Magistrates Court, I remember a magistrate, her name is uh, Senior Magistrate Sedeno, making a comment that has remained with me. She said that the job of a police officer does not end when they charge an individual. And she made that comment because there were some cases where police officers charged individuals, but the police officers wouldn't come into court, they didn't have uh, the relevant evidence and so that they were going to be relying on and they weren't presenting that information to the court in a timely manner. Now, I say that because we need to be mindful that uh, charging an individual is just the first step of the entire process in determining whether a person is guilty or not. So personally, I think that you should really be testing and judging and measuring your performance, not merely by charging an individual, but determining and seeing whether a person could be convicted for that particular offense. Similar, you don't just judge your success based on your input, you also have to measure your output. So personally, I believe that there should be more reporting on when a person is convicted for an offense rather than just when a person is charged for an offense. And possibly, the newspapers also need to have, and social media and all these places need to have at the bottom of uh, whatever post they have whenever a person is charged for an offense that the person is innocent until proven guilty. At least that might probably encourage the conversation and the dialogue in this particular area. And I'm hoping that more persons would share that video and encourage other persons to remember that, that the person is innocent until, say with me, innocent until proven guilty. So thank you guys so much for the support on that particular video. I'm going to leave it here, hopefully by now, it might probably appear right there. So have a look at it. And here it is. Uh, I know that some of you have different topics that you want me to speak about and I would want to do that. So if you have a particular area of law that you'd want some information about, a general information, because you know on this channel it's not legal advice, it's just sharing information, making the law easy for you to know your rights and for you to be empowered. So, just tell me what kind of topics you may want to talk about. Just leave it in the comments right there. You guys, again, thank you so much for your support. And uh, check out my other videos. Check out that video and share that video, you guys. Innocent until proven guilty. We will see in my other video. Take care for now.